Hey guys, welcome to a brand new video. In this video today, it is my review for the Legion United 1, West Brom 1. I think we actually played pretty well. I think during the starting team, the team we started with, we played way better. That was way, way better than um the Birmingham game. And I think we played, we were quite a quality. I thought we played well. Like, I thought we were good. We were the better team. More chances. You know, I thought the first half, you know, you had the Shackleton chance, which I thought was going in the back of the net. The deflection that hit the post. The ball's trailing. I'm like, oh my god, it's in the net. Shackleton scored, and it hits the post. It's the post, and that was unlucky. Um, and then Dan James did well to get a shot off from a Shackleton. Some people were hating on the like saying that Shackleton shouldn't have passed where he did, but he did, and he got the ball straight to um Dan James. Well, Gelhart, which went into Dan James, who had a good shot and it was a good save. Um, that was a good first half and a couple of chances. We looked the more dangerous team and the team more likely to actually score in the game against West Brom. Um, and that's when the second half started, and when they scored off a handball, so they scored a handball, it was all them at the start of the second half, by the way, it was all West Brom, nothing from Leeds in the first start of the second half, it was all West Brom the entire the entire <clears throat> time, and Brendan Thomas was able to um, actually um, score from his hand, it, like, it bounced into his hand, and then the it was like a deflection, and then it deflected off his hand, and it went in the back of the net. If it doesn't hit him, it, Melia saves her, but Melia got wrong-footed because it hit him in the hand, which is a handball, so it shouldn't have counted. They shouldn't have had that goal. What happened after that? We got Dan James's absolute screamer, which nine times out of ten, that goes in unless you're Leeds United. I feel like we've had so many of those where it's a, everyone says, oh, another day that goes in. We've had so many of those. Dan James hits it so perfectly, and it's a great save over the bar. From um, Alex Palmer, who was actually the man of the match, who got given the man of the match. So, yeah, he had a really good performance. So did Melia. Melia had that really good save. I can't remember who took the shot, and he, he palmed it straight onto the post. It was beautiful, like, before their goal. It was a great save, and I can't believe that he actually saved that. Um, So that was really good. Um, Positives I want to talk about. Um, Dan James ran, like, I think he was our best player on the pitch, Dan James. Um, <clears throat> Ruta, I didn't see do anything, really, until the end when he had that shot that went just wide. Again, he didn't really have many touches, I don't think, um, in this game. Yeah, he he wasn't really involved much in this game. He had 26 touches the whole entire game, Jorginho Ruta. You, I want to see more from him. Um, I know he's not a striker. I'd rather see him on the wing. We could have played him on the right wing, I guess, but then do you play Shackleton in the middle and jo Joffy up top? Brendan um, Ruta's probably the best option up top. I thought Joffy played decent in the 10. I don't think he was bad. I thought he was all right. I don't think he was great either. I thought he was had an all right, decent performance. Uh, Joe Rodon. Oh, we got a player on our hands, don't we? Joe Rodon. There was a couple of times he beat one or two players. There was one moment where he beat like four of them and, you know, went through. And, like, he, he looks like the real deal on the ball as a centre-back. I mean, he had a really good game. Luke Ayling, who got the goal with the Dan James assist in the second half when we scored... Um, we finally got the, the equaliser. Dan James with an unbelievable whip over the top. Um, Ailing comes sprinting through. Bang, had a goal, and we're 1-1, and we're, we're leveled the score. Um, great assist from Dan James, who honestly could have had about two or three assists with two or three goals. Um, he had two shots on target, Dan James, and I thought he was probably our best, uh, best player. He had that chance that he should have scored, which was right in front. All he had to do was hit the target, and it went wide. That's the thing with Dan James. You get either... A great opportunity where he does something amazing, and then he does something like that in front of the goal and misses the target. Um, yeah, I thought he was probably our best player on the pitch. He ran that. He ran the. Um, he ran the wing basically on the left, the left wing. Um, and I thought he was probably our. But yeah, he was our best player. I'll give him our man of the match. Um, Sam Byram thought he was all right. Pascal Strauch in his one hundredth appearance. Congratulations! I thought he was all right. Didn't do anything really wrong. Yeah, no one really did anything wrong. Archie Gray thought was all right and did well. Ampadu and Archie Gray both, of course. That's what I meant. Both of them did well. I think they both performed well like they always do. Uh, Sam Greenwell came off the bench. I thought he wasn't that bad. He didn't really do much. He had that, um, He straight away came on and had a free kick, which he put a lovely whip in, which could have, you know, it was put in a dangerous area. And I think we win that game if we have a couple of subs. Um because the only player we really could bring on was Sam Greenwood and Charlie Creswell. And we're not going to bring Charlie Creswell like, our bench was Lewis Bage, Cody Drama, JB, Creswell, and Sam Greenwood with two goalkeepers. Like, there's not many. None of them are going to change the game. I'm sorry, but none of those players are going to change the game. Um, yeah. So we were the better team. Thought we should have won. It is a handball, so it shouldn't be a goal. But it is the championship, so you can't really, you know, blame. I mean, you can blame the rest for not saying it, but 
it's just unlucky. I do think that, you know, and then towards the end of the game, they had a couple of scary getting towards the end because it was all West Brom. We had that moment after we scored, we almost scored again. And then we were all over them. And all of a sudden, they just came back on us again after we scored. Um, after after sorry after we had their chances and started playing well, they just came back at the end with the final like five minutes of the game, and that was all them. But overall, solid performance, good performance, better than Birmingham, way better than Birmingham. If we play like this against Birmingham, we win the game. Um, good performance by the team, good performance by individuals. We still need uh, some we need some signings now. Um, signings may help this you know help the week. Like we got a draw in a game where everyone thought we we're going to get absolutely smashed, and then and then we bring some signings in. It sounds like a really good week heading into the next game. If you guys like the video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.